Okay, first things first. Uh, when I played Wheelie's Magic, I kept complaining there was no sounds or music. Turns out they weren't like loaded or on when I actually played the game. You just press these buttons, and suddenly it's playing. I I think the confusion was that these things they weren't grayed out, which kind of left me with the impression that the music was already on. But no, turns out this switch that says off it doesn't turn music off; it turns it on. Anyway, that's that. Now it's time to play something new, something like Equestria Daily, the game. I kept hearing about this game at some point a few years ago, but I never checked it out. I never played it. And, hmm, it doesn't seem, okay, it's loading. <laughs> I don't know why, but I kept, whoa. Trying to be bombastic there. <laughs> Tap to start. Probably some kind of pseudo mobile game. Anyway, I heard about this game a few years ago. Ch I never really checked it out, so I think it's about time I actually start playing it right now. I don't think it's going to be that long of a game, but who knows? Huh. Okay. Tap to start, but then uh, the game just goes to the menu instead of starting. How to play. Health, switch weapons, tap to shoot, jump to move. Yeah, this is definitely a mobile game. Uh, what's this? There's DLC? The Great and Powerful DLC. You do not simply download the Great and Powerful Trixie. I'm far too busy performing feats beyond imagination. Now be gone with you until morning. <laughs> so it's a joke. There's credits here. Programmed by Nitro Pony. Designed by Pringle and Swirl with help from Faulty Kaiser. Music by Fugs, Guz, uh, Yadi Ark, and a bunch of other names that I'm completely, like, don't interpret or rather say right. And this is settings, which is music probably. Okay, let's just start. What's this thing? Uh, nothing, I suppose. New game! Uh... I guess that's some kind of menu? What do you have to say, Serial? Serial Velocity? Is that really how his computer looks like? Maybe. Not the best animation, but it shows what needs to be done. Oh no! There's mail in Ponyville! And for some reason we have to shoot it with a gun. You guys suck. You've sent way too, too many emails to Equity. And our serial is going to die. Way to go, but you can fix this. First, you might want to start moving. Use the control pad to walk around. Uh, in this area, you can move around. In this area you're here, you can shoot. You can aim up and down and slide your... F um, can I actually play this with a computer? Like, with, with what I'm using right now? Because I don't have a touch screen. And this is going way too fast. I can't keep up. Trough in some missions and cake. You'll lose some health. Limited movement? Can't have that. Okay. I'll try. Okay, I can move in. I can use the control, uh, the movement keys to move around. Um. Okay, I'm, I'm currently <laughs> getting damaged right there. Can I seriously not remove that thing on the bottom left there? I can use space to shoot. And that, that's actually all I do to shoot. Space. I, there's no need to aim. And I died. <laughs> I kind of did that on purpose. There's no need to aim right now because I don't actually uh, need to aim. And because I'm using space, there's like no real issue for aiming. Not to mention these things aren't moving. Hmm. Every time you press space, you lose all the ascension that you have from jumping. So is that seriously what the game is? I kind of don't like the aesthetic because uh, it's clearly meant for mobile, but... Uh, well, no, to be honest, this isn't all that great. It's, it looks really cheaply made, kind of as, made of a, as a joke, which is fine. I mean, this was clearly made in uh, as a tribute for the guys in Equestria Daily. Hopefully... <laughs> I, I, but, but because this was made for mobile, I have a feeling 
Unless this is freeware. It's kind of it's kind of really cheap that they would uh, monetize such a thing. Because I think they can, quote unquote, monetize this. Well, there's lots of stuff that can be monetized that really shouldn't be monetized. But, eh, I shouldn't make rash judgments like this. It may it may have never meant it went, gone on mobile at all, after all. But then again, that doesn't really explain the thing on the bottom left. That is a big email right there. Are they like pseudo bosses? Probably. After in some games, all you do to make a boss is take a normal enemy and give it lots and lots of health. Oh, different music. Hmm, this this seems to be pretty neat. I mean the music, not the game. The game itself, uh, it's kind of terry bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the intention. However, why could I not hit that email easily? Yeah, I, I think the music is at the very least nice. So this game is not a complete waste of time. Ow, ow. Dang it. I'm trying to shoot the email, but you can't shoot when you're hit. Level 3 complete. How many levels are there? Hopefully not too many. <laughs> I can only withstand so much uh, bad gameplay for so long. Not to mention, I I'm currently already am out of commentary. But, well, I suppose I can mention that. I haven't really visited uh, Equestria very much lately. I mean, Equestria daily very much. <laughs> Equestria, well, I only wish I could visit that. Uh, but then again, I haven't really visited Equestria daily all that often, even back when I was uh, like season two, season three. I uh, usually, I think there was a time where I would visit for the draw friends, but I think at some point, like I uh, submitted one of my own drawings. And it got accepted at some point, but then I submitted another time, and it didn't appear. And I don't think it was because it was a bad drawing, but, but just because they couldn't manage to check it in time. So this game, getting rid of all the emails right here, it's actually getting rid of all the competition for the drawings you would submit yourself. Are draw fans still happening? I think they are, probably. Can't speak much about the quality itself, though. And this level is going on for a while. Uh, where's the ground? Oh, it's already over here. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell what's brown and what is not. Green on green? That never... That would not be a mistake. Complete level four. Is this really the last level, please? I'm going to go to the left, but there's not much point for it. Well, the background is a bit different. Does that really mean anything though? I don't think so. And how do I hit those things over there? I guess I don't. Well, I guess <laughs> I guess they're at least trying to make some platforming segments. Or some platforming challenge rider. But because of the weird weird physics and how uh, shooting completely kills all your momentum and the fact that you can't really aim and your gun is uh, floating a bit it, it kind of screws everything over and I think there's also some times where you can't like really shoot and level 5 was much shorter than level 4 geez uh, okay <laughs> gotta run ah oh, dang it I think I'm done yep I died so I you have to continuously run here because if you get caught by the front uh, email that's floating you're, you're completely screwed. Get out of my way, get out of my way! Hmm. Apparently, hitting an email from under does not damage you. It stops your momentum, however. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick up here. Get out of my way, and that's the end of the level. Okay, that was neat. I don't like the new music, though. Do I have to defeat all the email? I think I do. Gotta shoot fast. Okay, uh, maybe jumping into an email from under them, that may actually damage you. Get out of my way. Why is the email so evil? And why is this music so much louder than the previous one? Level 7 complete. Okay, I think this, I think I'm gonna be in this game for, wait, what? What damaged me? 
Invisible email? Y you guys saw that. Something damaged me right here. Huh. Where do it was? Maybe it was a, some kind of glitch. Yeah, that, that might be it. Because this is not exactly what you call a well-made game. It can't be entertained, though. Just, I mean... When, I, when you say a game is not good, it means it can be improved. In this case, I'm sure we can all agree that there's are many places where this game could have been improved. Correct? Yes. At the very least, you guys can agree with me that this game needed a bit more balancing with the music. As in, like, sound-wise. Because this music is all quiet while the previous one was all loud. And the hurt box of the email needs to be fixed as well. And sometimes when I press space, my gun does not in fact shoot. Also, would it kill for Serial Velocity to have another expression besides angry frowny face? I mean, I'm sure he's a little bit better than the generic protagonists of uh, modern shooters at the very least. Then again, maybe this is supposed to be like a pseudo-modern shooter. After all, it kind of plays exactly like them. Just go in one direction, all levels are linear, and you just keep shooting. Also, you're, the game is super forgiving, even when you die. Come on, get out of my way, and die, or get destroyed. Email, those are not living beings, they're just things, so they get destroyed. Living beings would say they die, but things or the undead, those are getting destroyed. That, I get that from NetHack, because uh, if you try to say something died when it's a thing or an undead, you will get shouted at through a message board. That never happens. Oh my goodness, how long is this game? <laughs> I'm getting kind of bored, and I have literally nothing else to say about it. What is that yellow thing up there do anyway? Nothing. It does nothing at all. It probably, it probably got explained through... Uh, the tutorial what it was but I couldn't like exactly follow that tutorial it was going way too fast yeah the jumps are getting a bit uh, tricky now the hell really level 11 night male moon <laughs> okay so we got a boss here She's gonna be over here. Okay, she's got lots of HP. And that's all she's gonna do? I think so. Okay, she, she deals basically the same amount of damage normal male does, but... Huh. She's got lots of HP. Way too much. Okay, he did... Wait, what? Okay, her hitbox is really weird. Where are you, Nightmare Moon? If you hit her twice, she disappears. So if I if I just pay attention and stay here, I shall be able to constantly defeat her. She has way too much HP though. And I'm kinda scared of her hitbox. Yeah, it's way too big. Come on, Nightmare Moon. I can defeat you before you defeat me. As long as I don't hit your really large hitbox. You know, this is probably the best boss fight you could come up with in a game designed like this anyway. So I don't exactly I don't exactly have much to complain about. Don't know why Nightmare Moon is sticking to the higher side right now. Oh, she's moving faster? Yes yeah, she is. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna lose. Really? <laughs> okay, so she had like a weird spawning animation that I could have taken advantage of, and it would also make things a lot easier to like tick it, like tick her on. So I made this fight a lot more difficult than it need to be, but I still beat it on my first try. Hey, that was Trixie.
I thought I thought Satisto. Oh no, it is Satisto. Never mind. Well, the animation cutscenes aren't too bad, at least. I mean, they're cheaply designed, but still. Wait, don't tell me it's not over. Oh, good grief. <laughs> How long is this? I don't think I have all day, even though I have three days off. And I have a sunburn, by the way. Well, I suppose there's... Since there's not much for me to talk about anymore, I'm just going to continuously start beating the levels. I guess they are kind of getting a bit more interesting. And the music is also really good. Uh, gotta go over here. Slowly take out the big male. Get stuck on the geometry. Really? Really? <laughs> Had trouble just making past that one segment. Okay, so shooting does not actually kill all your uh, momentum. It's just that uh, when I press space, I would usually release uh, up, which would kill my momentum. So that was uh, my bad on complaining about the... Uh, the momentum, like the shooting, killing the momentum of jumping. There's lots of parts uh, in these levels that uh, seem completely useless. Come on, get rid of that. I guess the parts uh, under there are supposed to be like traps. Like, if you get stuck down there, there's no getting out? Probably. Or, there is there is a chance for you to get out, but you're gonna get damaged a lot. In the process. Probably. It's too bad about the enemy variety not uh, changing right now. Because uh, it could, sure could use some. Ah! Dang it! I died. Okay, you can still jump even when you're damaged, thankfully, because if you couldn't jump when you're damaged, <laughs> this that part down there probably would be death. Is this where I was? Yeah, I think it was. And I have to go down there. Dang it. You have to go into the bright light for some reason. On my way. Dang it. Yep, just gonna ignore. Ignore. Ignore the mail. It's not like I can shoot it thanks to the weird controls. For reference, the music is nice, but it's clearly not uh, <laughs> from this game. Just want to mention that. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Thankfully, your hitbox is actually allows you to like stick on the edges of platforms uh, pretty easily, because otherwise that would be done. Uh. Dang it. Lots more places where I have to get hit now. There is a, like a small uh, window where you can shoot even when you're like stuck on uh, an enemy. So I don't think it's possible to get permanently stuck. Maybe. What kept hitting me? Something kept hitting me down there. I think uh, even when you defeat some enemies, some of them still stick around or their hitbox still sticks around to damage you. Something like that. 
Oh. Oh! That's what it means up there. I have two characters to play with. Okay, I can sort of play with Satista right now. And, uh... He moves a lot faster. Jeez. I'm guessing there's a button I can use to switch between them. When I want. Maybe. Anyway, I kind of want to get rid of those things down there, but... I don't think I can. Yep, just gonna tank all those hits. I think that's what I'm gonna have to start doing right now. Completely level 16. And I'm still pl still playing as Satisto. And I can't really switch to back to Serial Velocity, unfortunately. Unless I die with Satisto, I think. Although knowing that I can, uh, like, play as two characters now, I could probably go through a lot of these levels by just tanking all the hits, I bet. Oh, and I'm guessing there's going to be a third uh, part uh, area where I'm going to have the ability to play as Phoebe. I would like that. She's a Pixis. That means she can easily skip all the levels, I bet. Although I'm, I'm, I'm willing to also bet that uh, she'll only be able to jump a bit higher than the others. That's my wager, and I'm sticking to it. Another boss. It's Dragon. N no, f no fancy nickname, nothing. And that's its mouth. I thought it was its wings, but it is its mouth. Wait, is that seriously what the boss is? Is it gonna appear from the other side? I think so. Ah! It's got a fire breath. And there's no way to avoid it. Jeez. Hey, what? Where does he keep coming from? Jeez. Okay, I don't like this boss. I don't like it at all. Come on, up here, dragon. Where are you? Dang it. Okay, you have to... You have to damage the boss before it does its fire bread. And you can defeat the male that he shoots at you, but... Jeez. And you can only damage him when he comes out to do the fire bread. Okay, so, but he can only appear out of two directions. So, if he doesn't appear in this direction, he appears the other one. Uh, but it's not much... Like, there's... There's really no opportunity for me to, like, get him. If he appears on the other side. And I think he's going extra fast right now. So this boss fight feels a lot more luck-based. Oh, you can defeat a several things at the same time? To the point where you can almost survive a hit. Well, anyway, there's, uh, there's definitely no chance for me to survive uh, this boss battle, though. So, yeah, I died. Back to Serial Velocity. Okay, you can see, easily survive the dragon's attacks. It's just that there's no way to damage it, really, if it appears on the wrong side. So this is a really long boss fight, I feel. And I, I also have a feeling that its health was cut in half just because of how many people complained about that. There. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm just waiting for the dragon to appear on the left side, but it keeps appearing on the right side, apparently. And now it appeared on the left side. Of course. Oh, goodness gracious. He's attacking way too fast now. Okay, maybe not too fast, but he's attacking from the wrong side. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. He was in the wrong direction every time. 
And now he appears on the right. Of course! It's like the boss knows exactly which direction to attack from every time. Jeez. Maybe, maybe that's how it actually is. Who knows? Anyway, he's, uh, he's got a rage going on. Yeah, I think there's uh, some instances where the dragon will uh, attack repeatedly. Yeah, that's right, stick to the same direction. There's definitely a large uh, opportunity to damage the dragon, even if he's uh, from the attacking from the wrong direction, quote unquote. There, goodness gracious! That's it. That's it. That that's it. Pause. Out. Jeez. Okay, that dragon fight was terrible, I, and I'm. Horribly disappointed there is no opportunity to play as Phoebe Kalinowski. Or Phoebe the Pixis. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was very cheaply made. But it was clearly made as a tribute for the guys at the Quester Daily. Who do a good job upholding that site and providing all the bronies out there in the world with news about the fandom and the actual show and the actual merchandise and whatever. So concerning this game's existence, I think it's okay. What do you guys think? Do you want to play this yourselves? Link in the description if you want to try it. Besides that, I hope you all enjoyed this long video, much longer than I expected it to be. And I'll have a very nice day. Bye-bye!